Howdy folks, Moose here. I have not been excited or have got a new tripod for a long time, but this is it. This is, as far as I'm concerned, my, uh, my forever tripod. This is the Benro Mammoth tripod and wildlife head. Now, one of the first things you, you, you can't tell when you're there, but this thing is so light. This right here is eight pounds. This head, these the sticks, eight pounds. Yet it's able to hold 33 pounds. And that number, you know, I don't know about you, but me personally, doesn't seem relevant. What I can tell you is I can put the Z600 F4 or my 805-6 AFS in here with the Z9, and it's rock solid steady. It is phenomenal. I love this whole thing. Now, okay, so tripod head, you've heard and seen those videos before, right? Well, let me tell you, this one's a little bit different for a lot of reasons. So it's got this new fangled carbon fiber formula in the legs. Uh, yeah, they explained it to me, sorry, over my head. All I can tell you is it makes a lighter tripod stronger than we were used to. What you're seeing here is it's not fully extended. It actually will go another 12 inches higher. So for myself and my lens, plenty of height, but it compacts down to just 27 inches. I love it. Fits in my luggage with the head attached, no problem. So we've got these great specs. What else we got going? Well, you know, tripod legs are tripod legs. It, uh, it can go down to about 10 inches. The legs pop out. Uh, what you see is how I normally would have it set up. The one leg with the handle is always gonna be facing out towards the subject. The one I'm gonna push down into the mud or the sand if I don't have a really solid strata in which to put it on. When I pick it up, I'm gonna pick it up the way you see it. This, this will go over my shoulder. Boink, this will be sticking out. So that's all the basics for that. But it's the way the wildlife head works with the system that is phenomenal. Now I have it with the bull column. You can get a regular column. I don't really like regular columns. This has the bull column, so you can level it out. There is a, bubble, there's a number of bubble levels because this setup is not only great for stills, but video. That's what's really important. You have both available in one head, one time. Oh God, I love it. Couldn't do this with anything else. Now, wow, where do I keep going? Okay, so the tripod, before I can get to the head, because I haven't got the good stuff yet. The tripod has got in this top collar and it's a whole new top saddle. So it's smaller, but sturdier than what you might see. It's not as broad as you need. Uh, on other ones, this is a smaller one that makes it so much smaller to fit in the luggage. It has 3 8 threads you can put on arms and uh, uh, a, a um, articulated arm with monitors or lights. Uh, it's got all that great stuff in this head. Oh yeah, the bottom, the, the feet, it comes with uh, spikes or I could put in the really right stuff, ice claws in it. Works great. They have a sealed bottom on these legs. I was in mud and muck and water up in Alaska last week, had this in the water. And I'm used to, you know, after doing that, having, especially when the water gets over one of the knuckles, having water in the legs. Yeah, this one did not have that situation. There was no water in there. This got a little O-ring on the bottom of the feet. Stayed dry. Just killer stuff, killer stuff. But let's get to the good stuff. That's not the good stuff. Good stuff is the head. The head, you might notice, it's totally different. Now, how do I explain this? I've been thinking about this for a while now. What you've got is the most incredible, incredible still and video head on the planet. So you've got this big knob right here. This big knob here is part of the fluid head assembly and it has a ratchet. You can turn it to the number you want. And then no matter what lens you have on here, you can smoothly pan with it vertically, no problem. The best thing is no matter what's on here, you let go, it goes back up. There is no more the lens going over with gravity, cracking, smashing, going over. It writes itself, it's beautiful. And when you want to lock it down, you have a level right here, a oh, level a lever right here, and then you lock it in place. Why would you do that? Explain that in a second. Next, you have this tension on the pan. 
you can set the pan tension to it as well with this great, I mean, everything's illustrated with numbers and clicks. You can figure out what you want. Um, you've got all the degrees on here and you can set the pan. So if you want to have the most incredibly smooth pan experience while shooting stills, this is it. If you want that same experience when you're shooting video, this is it. It's absolutely amazing. Now let's say you're shooting and shooting and you got to pick it up and you got to walk over there. Well, on most tripods, you have to reset all this tension, right? You have to have the uh, vertical and the pan, you gotta lock it down. Then when you sit it down again, you have to loose it and get it just right. That's all gone with this. You've got a separate lever right here. That's for your pan lock. You've got another one for your tilt lock. You put it to where you want. In this, this case there, I put it here. I lock this, I lock this and bang. It's locked in place. I go and shoot. All I do is hit that lever, hit this lever. I'm back to shooting with all of this already up and going. I absolutely love this stuff. Now, we're not done. No way done. So you've got your basic Arca Swiss okay, clamp in there. They have a two set um, pull on this safety knob. So you lock it in place and then like this, it's locked. You undo it and then there's a safety lock so it won't pop out it will slide but won't pop out you have to pull this out and turn it some more now you can pop it out let's say you want to for whatever reason you have a camera set up and you need to uh, change the orientation of the plate that's what this knob here is for you can rotate this clamp any place you want on this head it's just amazing oh yeah i forgot this part it's got this Uh, telescoping pan handle. Now personally, uh, so it compacts and I keep it in the bag, I always extend it and then I in, in, put it in into the, the slot and there's there's always different spots. You can customize how you shoot and what direction all you want. There's all sorts of them in here. You've got that, it comes with it. It comes with uh, it comes with this really big case which I don't use. Um, ah, boy, what haven't I told you about this? Oh yeah, the one best thing. This entire system, this mammoth tripod, the wildlife head, costs less than most heads by themselves. Uh, this thing is $600 less than my old Zanelli head. It's so inexpensive. As tripods go, it's incredibly dirt cheap. It's phenomenal. But there's more. Let's say that you're out there shooting, and all of a sudden you want to take that long lens off, and you want to take that landscape. Well, you know you don't have all the, the movement you might, might uh, want right here like you would in a ball head, but guess what? The geniuses that went into designing these legs and this head came up with a solution. So, that's for the next video. For this video, the mammoth legs, why they get that name? Because of all the photographic roles that this thing conquers so beautifully in wildlife head, I'm here to tell you, you get these, they're going to be your forever tripod and head. You're going to get nothing else ever again for that long lens. The Benro Mammoth tripod and head. And next, how to make it super versatile.